laying in your bed. You roll over and look at the clock. Oh, it's this late again, you say to yourself. It's a stormy night outside, so you open your browser. You open YouTube to only realize that... I haven't uploaded in like two years, dude. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. It's Roko here, and y'all are probably asking, who is Roko? I'm Roko. So let's get right into ranking the best Rocket League content creators, where I'm definitely the most certified in the matter because... I don't know, insert some reason here. Disclaimer though, I may have not added your favorite content creator, so feel free to share them in the comments. Probably didn't get them because I have the intelligence of an ape and the attention span of a lizard. So let's get it. So first, uh, we have Derek here. He was one of the biggest on Twitch if I remember correctly. Um, I think he's really good um, at doing what he does. He teaches while he plays. I think the fact that he's not pro level is actually good. Um, what you guys probably don't realize is that the closer you are to the player, the easier it is for you to relate to them so you can learn more. Um, I think the problem with him is I'm just not too fond of his personality and he also never collabs with anybody. So I'm gonna put him B tier. Uh, Omar. Um, Loki do not know how to say this guy's name. He consistently streams on Twitch, and I think he's he's really good on two, at twos and ones, I believe. I enjoy him. Um, I think his personality, though, it just comes off like he has an ego. And I don't know if that's just because he's joking, and that's just his way of joking, and, you know. I just don't really care for the way that he carries himself. Um... And he's also not super unique, so I'm gonna put him a C tier. Nothing against him. Good gameplay, for sure. Flakes, 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 flakes. Uh, like Derek, Flakes is one of the only like big streamers who focuses on teaching while actually playing. Mm, if you think about it, a lot of pros actually really suck at teaching while they play. I mean, Squishy's like. Oh, so here I saw that he was a millisecond further away from the ball. So I took out my protractor and triple flip reset, air dribble bump, double tapped him. Kind of overextended a bit. That's a free goal. <laughs> like, it's kind of crazy, but Flakes, he has a unique outlook and play style. Uh, he's just good at teaching and explaining his mindset. And on top of that, his personality is kind of golden. Yo, what's up? Yo, what? Whoa, hello. What? That, that was me. <laughs> I left the call. I left the call. I left the call. I left the call. I, 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 I... Yo, what's up, man? It was, it it was your gameplay. <laughs> that's it. Why did I go back to Mr. Bean? It was my. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I see you. Oh, that's kind of stupid. Hey, from wh when? <laughs> when? What? What? Where was that gameplay from? <laughs> from what was that? <laughs> Tell me, stop laughing. I'm ending stream. <laughs> stop laughing. I'm gonna. Hey. <sighs> it's not funny. Chat, don't laugh. Chat, don't laugh. They left the mirror. Please. <laughs> I need an answer. From when was that replay? What was I playing? What was I doing? <laughs> like a couple weeks ago. A tier potential for an S tier if he starts streaming some more again uh, yeah for sure Flump um, I think Flump's great I think he's an S tier uh, he's unique he has good content ideas he's very enjoyable I don't think there's much to say about him his format's pretty good uh, yeah nothing to say nothing to hate I think he's just a solid content creator Johnny boy another one of the pioneers Johnny swings in and out for me though. He's definitely a person who has their personality and he's a caster, which I think is good. He's one of my uh, favorite casters because of that. But content wise, it's 90% 1v1s. So if you don't like 1v1s, it's not gonna be for you. I think it's great that he brings new players into the scene, which is, you know, a change of pace and it's interesting. I wish he created more unique content like his 1v1 v1 v1s, you know? He could have been an S tier, but for now, I'm gonna put him A tier. John Sandman. John Sandman, I feel like, is one of those content creators that's gonna be very polarizing. If you like him, you like him. If you don't, you don't. Watch one video and you'll know. Um, high energy content. 
if you watch his videos, you're watching it for him. He's one of those players that you like, and he just happens to also play a game that you like. So I'm going to put him a C tier. Oh, Jesse. Jesse is what you call good mauled content, right? In my opinion, you can't be positive and then be mauled because then it's just like annoying to watch. But if you're just openly mauled, it's just a style and it's cool and fun to watch and nobody gets mad. It's just entertaining. You know, I think it's all about how you just make your brand at the start. And Jesse made it him. <laughs> so when he's mauled, he molds, you know. I think it's great. Justin. Um, Justin is one of those people who is probably an A tier <laughs> just because he's Justin, you know. He's one of those one of the best players mechanically. So if you watch anything he does in Rocket League, you're gonna be entertained. I mean, I enjoy his personality, some may not, but you know, you can't deny that he's a great Rocket League player. I wish he had more unique content for YouTube. I think that's why I struggle to want to put him A, but I still think he's an A tier. Jazer. I was a Jazer fan back when he was a pro and he freestyled, but to me, his content has turned like really formulaic. Like, if we take a look at his videos, you can see it's just like the same <laughs> series over and over and over again. And on top of that, I think his freestyling has just evolved to the type that I just don't enjoy as much. It's changed from just solo good mechanically good shots into more of like passing gimmicky shots. I don't think that's bad though. I think it's just not for me. So I'm gonna put him B tier. Kronovi, you know, I think he has one of the coolest personalities. Uh, he seems like a really genuine, nice guy. Very informative when he's on Twitch or YouTube. Good gameplay, obviously pioneer status. Uh, he, the only thing I have with against him is he doesn't upload on YouTube and stream as much. And not that much variety in content. So I'm going to put him um, low A tier. Uh, definitely potential to be S if he changed some things up. But, you know. He's doing him. Lethemir. Lethemir is an easy S tier. Even if you don't love his personality, even if you hate the way that he wears his hats, or, you know, don't like that his headset looks like this, he brings good content to the table. Like, he brings new maps, new mods, new ideas. I mean, he even helps in like tournaments and he does collapse. I think that's golden, super unique. Um, ain't nobody doing it like he's doing it. Linkaroo. I stopped watching him, but I also feel he's pretty underrated. He has, he has a bunch of unique content. I think it helped back in the day that he was also pretty good at the game. So that gave him more freedom in the type of videos he makes. But yeah, I must say he's high B tier. Um, definitely underrated though. I think he can boost himself up. If he just keeps edit a bit longer and more consistently. And yeah, I think I think I think he's got it. Next we have Musty. Musty has unique content ideas, right? I look at his channel and I see unique things that I I know I couldn't have thought of. So I really respect him for that. I also respect that he paved a way for himself, you know, through Reddit and then started making YouTube videos. And now he's, you know, playing with Squishy and other pros. I think that's really great. His personality sometimes is just not funny, but you can't knock the content ideas. Definitely high B. That's a probably underrated place. He can definitely get to A and maybe even S in the future for sure. Pulse. MK. Pulse MK, I feel really bad for in this list because I'm going to put him D tier. Hear me out. So for me, I feel like he just does what Jazer does, but doesn't really have any of the benefits that Jazer has. So he's kind of just stuck in a D tier position for me. Uh, 
but yeah next we got rocket science rocket science is an s tier i mean it's no questions that this guy's an s tier super informative videos if you need to know anything about this game i'm asking this guy i think his opinions are very informative you know because when he has an opinion he usually bases it off statistics and facts so i think it's always something great to hear really refreshing channel compared to all other content in rocket league i think he's kind of irreplaceable right now and that's an s tier easy s tier in my mind next we got scrub um i'm gonna put scrub b tier all right so i don't really care for scrubs videos i think he has some ones that are you know entertaining enough to at least watch them you can learn from his 1v1 videos but like i said earlier with squishy he's kind of terrible at explaining mistakes and with that i just don't care for his personality too much i mean at the end of the day though he's great at the game you'll learn something so he's definitely just low b tier squishy muffins you know one of the ogs you know in his own right for sure for sure for sure for sure he's one of the best mechanical players he has an interesting play style um he tries to explain what he's doing a lot of the time but really just doesn't <laughs> it's kind of funny at this point it's a meme in his uh chat you can still definitely learn from the guy of course just because of his creativity pretty straightforward content on youtube you can watch three videos tell exactly what this guy's channel is also don't check out a stream very often but the vibes feel like he's annoyed i know he said this in the past on top of that you can ignore his chat but his chat's kind of lame they just spam questions the whole stream um a tier I wanted to put him like in a B plus tier, <laughs> but he's A tier just because he started doing more collabs with Musty and stuff. And yeah, uh, I, still, I still have a place in my heart for him. Sunless Khan, easy S tier. He has really unique ideas for his content. Uh, his and Flump's videos are kind of alike. I just think uh, Sunless does it a bit better I just love the way that he formats his videos a bit better, and I think his ideas are a bit better. If you see Flump as an S tier, or a high A tier even, Sunless is definitely an S tier. Next we have Verge. Verge, I'ma put low B tier. To me, Verge makes really well made tutorials and guides, but I don't really enjoy any of his other content outside of those guides. So I think that puts him in B tier. I'll even move him to mid B tier, but at this point, like, <laughs> it's super hard for me to. Um, like Verge, Wade makes really well-made tutorials and guides, but I also just enjoy his regular videos a lot more than Verge. So I feel like he's just kind of a better way of, ver better version of Verge. Um, I'd say the guy's on the come up though. Uh, I really enjoy his videos. One of my personal favorites for sure. Last but not least, we have Yukio. He has the best Road to Grand Champ series I've ever seen. Easy, can say that without a doubt. He explains why he does things. One of the things that I think he does that's really valuable is that he gives specific advice to different levels of Grand Champ, which I think is uh, something that's very highly needed. Cause you know, there's guys to get out of champ, guys to get out of plat, guys to get out of gold. But there's never really any guys how to get out of 1500, how to get out of 1600. And Yukio brings that with his Road to Number One series where he has specific MMRs. So I'm gonna put him a uh, high B tier, for sure, high B tier. And then of course we have me, uh, Roko himself. Um, obviously, wait, 